Today's job is pin basting. I have moved the furniture off of my living room rug and I have a big enough space to put the quilt on top of the rug which holds it in place so I can pin baste the three layers together. Normally I would go to the church hall down the street and do this pin basting on top of tables, which is so much easier than getting down on the floor and having to do this on the rug. Um, so it becomes a bit of a chore. Once I have the backing and batting and quilt nicely laid out on the floor, it's time to start pinning. I usually will start along the center. I put some pins out on top of the quilt itself. Now this particular quilt has got bias edges. So it has to be smoothed out quite well before starting to pin it. If it is not smoothed out or if you stretch a bias edge, it will always be wavy once it is quilted. So just pat it down nicely. I start in the middle, making sure I have at least an inch of batting and backing uh, extending beyond the edge of the actual quilt. And because it's bias, again, just be very careful if you use bias edges on, on your quilts. You have to just pat them down really well. Make sure that everything is smooth and not stretched out of place. So normally I would put pins about every uh, eight inches apart. I do start pinning in the middle, work my way down the center seam to the other end, all the way to the end, and then I come back to where I started and go one side of the center, and then I will pin the other side of the center. So I pin from the center line to the side and um, get it pinned out that way. So I just have to make sure that I get it uh, nice and smooth and there are no lumps and bumps on the backing at the back. And also, I'm sort of a one and done person. I like to finish one quilt before I start another one, but I was saving a few quilt tops to uh, pin baste at the church hall but since our lockdown is still continuing, I'm going to get a few of them done all at once while I have the furniture moved away from the edge of the rug. And again, with this zigzag quilt that I made, I start pinning it along the center line and I work my way out to both sides. The zigzag quilt is a lot easier to pin because it doesn't have bias edges. So you can see where my hands are. That's about how far apart I put the pins. I do all of my machine quilting on a domestic machine. I don't have a long arm uh, machine and most of my quilting is used, I uh, use a walking foot and I uh, do a horizontal row and a diagonal row of stitching with my walking foot. I don't mind free motion stitching. I just don't like too much quilt stitching and a lot of pattern in my quilting stitch because I find that it makes my quilts a bit stiffer than I like. And because my quilts are scrappy, I just do the minimum. It takes me a while to do it, but I'm happy I'm done.